G'day. Today, I want to talk about truth and sometimes how we can't believe that somebody else can't see a truth or can't own that truth or can't own up to what you think um, really happened or is happening or what your truth of it is. And I think I think a little bit differently maybe to, to some people in this. I think that two people, distinctly different people, can have two distinctly different truths, two different versions of the same factual event. Speaking to a client today and we were talking about this and, and whether two people can see or remember or perceive uh, an event or something happening in their life and, and they remember it this way. You know, this is what you did. This is what I did. This is who was at fault. This is whatever people add into that shit, right? And the other person go, well, that that's not my, that's not the way I see it. I don't remember. You're wrong. And then we're like fucking fighting about it and battling it out to see who's, who's right. But I think that you can both be right. Certainly the truth that you hold about that event or about that person or about, you know, whatever, um, is your truth just as much as the other person's truth is theirs. And I think sometimes we are so determined for ourselves to be right that we sometimes lose sight of the fact that maybe we could be wrong. Maybe we could be just a little bit out. Maybe somebody else's perception or recollection or idea of it might be more accurate than ours, right? And I think the way that sometimes manifests is in us feeling a negativity, us feeling a downward pressure on ourselves about a particular thing because our truth is this and the other person just can't fucking see it and you can't believe they can't see it, right? And I think before that spiral starts, sometimes the checking of your reality um, is important. And by that I mean, can you ask somebody externally, completely objectively, what their recollection of that is, or what their feeling of, of it is, or what they think of you, or, you know, check your reality with somebody else. Because sometimes your truth could be way off. It's still your truth, it's still your perception of what happened, but sometimes you're just miles off, and that can be a problem, right? And I think something I, I use with, with my clients, with people I work with in this space a lot, is when you have a certain feeling about something and you're not sure if it's real, then it's not, right? I, I, I use this sort of formula, and I think I might have spoken about this before, I use this sort of formula, three questions to check your reality. Uh, is it real? Um, can I change it? And then does it matter anyway, right? So when I have a certain feeling or I'm, I'm, I'm having some resentment or, you know, uh, I'm convinced, absolutely convinced that somebody is talking to me about me behind my back to that person and all of that shit, that craziness that goes on sometimes for me, I can check my reality by saying to myself, which I do, um, just pulling up on that and going, okay, is it real? Do I have factual evidence? Do I have an SMS? Do I, was I there? Did I hear them say it? Whatever. Um, is it real? And if it's not, then it goes no further than that. I say to myself, if it's not real, I say to myself, okay, well then I, I, I allow that feeling to leave. Right? A very empowering, very liberating thing to do. But if it is real, right? So the first question, is it real? Well, yes. I, I have the text message. I was there. I, I remember it, you know, like that person has said it. They're saying to me now, whatever. Is it real? Yes. Then I go to question two. Question two is, can I change it? Can I do anything about it? Right? And often the answer is no, I can't. If that person's speaking to that person about me behind my back, and I know that that's happening because I've heard them say it or something, can I change that? No. Is it worth me investing time to try and change that? No, right? And so if the answer is no, then I say to myself, I, I'm, I allowing, I'm allowing that feeling to leave, right? And I don't dwell on it, I don't try not to at least, I dwell on it and let it bring me down. However, if it is something I can change, can I make amends? Can I, 
write that wrong? Can I fix it? Whatever. Then I go to question three for myself. Question three is, does it matter anyway? Because so often when something is real, I could have changed it or I can change it still, but it just doesn't fucking matter. It's not going to matter to me in five days, five months, five years. It's not going to change anything, right? Focusing on that, dwelling on that is just not going to help. So again, I say to myself, I give myself permission to let that feeling go. And and again, with that feeling, once you do give that yourself permission to cleanse yourself of it, often you do. Right, and so you don't. I don't. I try not to, and I tend not to drag that shit through my life, bringing me down, holding me back, stopping my growth, stopping my healing, stopping my recovery. You know, those sorts of things matter. But first of all, is it real? Focus on fact, because if it's not real, that's where it stops. Let the feeling go, and get on with your life. See ya.